I, I'm getting a little nervous over here. I think we must move on to Ray Vinson. Seabeck's dancing in his chair, and, and there's good reason for that because, I mean, he's the high five king, let's be honest. The I think we should high five anything. right now. I, I agree. Oh, yeah, that was real, people. That wasn't even a sound effect. That's for <laughs> Ray Vinson. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Gentlemen, it's time to bring our next guest into the Joe Sports Fan Show. We've uh, we've covered athletes. We've yeah. covered the media. Now it's time to bring in a real American hero. The uh, the man who gets more television FaceTime during Cardinal broadcast than most bench players. He is the owner of Vincent Mortgage, Ray Vincent himself. Ray, I, uh, I cannot adequately describe how tickled we are to have you aboard this ship tonight. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm um, equally happy to be here. You sound excited. I really am. It's just... <laughs> quite an honor, I think, to be on your show. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Ray, well, it's time to uh, seize the day, if you will, in, uh, in our tailgate talk. Let's get it going. Okay. Tell him you won't tailgate. The tailgate thing doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, let's take tailgate. It's time for tailgate talk. Ray, before we, before we get into the serious chatter, can we maybe get you to say a little, you got that right? Absolutely. Boy, you got that right. Oh, <laughs> it so and I've done sober. that a couple of times, and Tony La Russa and I've done that a couple of times. You got that right. Yeah, that's money right We've there. Seen. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So that, that is our first question. So Tony La Russa has starred, obviously, in a few of your commercials during his tenure as the Cardinals manager, but, you know, he's out, and Mike Matheny's in. Any plans to get uh, Mike Matheny in, engaged in a Vincent Mortgage campaign? No, I, I don't know Mike. I haven't met Mike. I've heard nothing but, but great things about Mike uh, and I haven't reached out to him yet. Uh, I have um, reached out to other sports athletes around the community, and um, there will be another commercial, I expect, with another young star oh. in it. We need the scoop, Ray. We <laughs> got you, you can't just leave us hanging there. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say who it is just yet. It's, um, it is someone uh, from the Cardinals. Can, I'm, can I'm, you say I'm, what uh, it rhymes with? <laughs> <laughs> Talking to some of the Cardinals, and they're, they're, they're so many good guys. You know, you got they're that, all right. good guys, so, you know, you got to say a lot of good things about winners like that. Ray, just as a little tag to that first question, Tony LaRusso is not known for doing commercials. I, I don't know that I've seen him in hardly any except for ARF. How are you the one that he chose to do a commercial with? What you do? I got to know Tony through a, a friend of mine, Ed Curtis, that's been in the sports world around town forever. And, um, Love Ed. And just one evening chatting I jokingly said, or it'd be great to have Tony do a commercial or something to that effect. And it couldn't have been too funny because it was Tony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I talked to Ed about it. And next time Tony and I were together and with Ed, we, we brought it up and said, in all seriousness, you know, what, what do you think? Let's, let's do one. And he was all for it and said, you guys show up in Jupiter and we'll get it done. You know, it wasn't the greatest of commercials. And then <laughs> to don't be humble. Day. Don't be humble. Come on. <laughs> so to convince him to do this, the next one, you know, was still he he was just a great guy to work with. So when we put this last one together with the Pujols lookalike walking away and you know saying seize the moment, that was just artistic. Forever, it, it was it was great to do and. The commercial itself turned out to be just, in my opinion, fantastically done. And that was not and, Albert Pujols? Uh, yeah, no, that was just a guy with a number five on. <laughs> wow. Symbolic. <laughs> emotional. A little bit emotional, too. Now, obviously, yeah. the original commercials with Tony and then dating back to the Bernie Federico, they both featured popcorn as a, as a prominent prop. So is that just a coincidence, just some setting, or is there actually like a backstory behind that? Why, why that, that was center stage, your bowl of popcorn with Bernie? The popcorn was just... We, we were simply trying to convey a feeling of total relaxation, something you might experience in a, in a theater watching a movie that you're at a game, you know, you're relaxed. It's eating popcorn and thinking about nothing but what's in front of you. Did Larusa Federico, did any of them eat any of the popcorn? Well, now that you mention that, maybe that's why I missed my lines in the first one was eating that popcorn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was an outtake, by the way. When Tony said his lines and standing facing toward the outfield, I'm sitting on the bench eating that popcorn. <laughs> I was supposed to immediately follow it up with something. You know, you only uh. have 30 seconds. You don't have 10 minutes. Oh. So, so LaRusse is standing there, and he's just standing there waiting for me to say something, and I said nothing. So that's when he said, Vincent, you're going to remember your lines. So there. We never intended to play that, and it ended up we played that, and it, 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 it got, a great re- got great reviews. It ended up being just great for us. If you, Ray Vincent, could get any coach or athlete, past or present, to star in one of your commercials, who would you choose? Wow, that's a tough question. I mean, my first choice, of course, is uh, Tony La Russa, of course. 
Well, you got that one. Got to stay loyal Check to that Lauren Huff. Yeah. Let me run an idea by you, Ray. What if you okay. were to get Wayne Gretzky, who used to play for the Blues, and then So Taguchi, who used to play for the Cardinals, get them in a commercial together because they both wore the jerseys number 99. So you've got your 99-99 there. That's right. Great. Anything that has 99-99 in it, <laughs> so long as it begins with 839, is a winner. You guys put that together quite well. But- Thank you. Okay, so we've got the, you know, you got that right phrase. We've got the 99.99. Another solid element in all your commercials are the high fives. So I got to know, when you're out at the mall or, you know, eating dinner in a restaurant, is it commonplace for people to come up and ask you for high fives, Ray? Occasionally, I do get that. You know, anymore, it's seize the moment. You know, that, that seize the moment became such a big deal with the doing the uh, the baseball commercial during the Super Bowl. No doubt. Uh, we left the uh, left it up to the imagination for the, about the first 24 seconds. Yeah, it was like, kind of like that twist at the end, like the Sixth Sense or Shawshank Redemption, you know? It kind of had, yeah, it, exactly. it had that feel to it. It's right up yeah. there with those movies. I'm not ashamed to say that I, I cried the first time I saw that. Yeah. Final question. I'd imagine you keep tabs on, you know, the other local commercial stars, Becky Queen of Carpet, Brown and Crouppen, Ted Drews. Let's say you're assembling a cast of local commercial all-stars. Who do you have your eye on? I'm going Don Brown first overall. Absolutely. Don, I know Don, have known Don for many years, what a great guy. Terry Crouppen, I just saw him at um, Barnes & Noble the other day. Wow, there's a story. Isn't it? Uh, if you're if see. you're just shopping for books there and you stroll over and boom you got Ray Vincent and Terry Crouppen and standing next to each other that's 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 like an ad. I'm taking a picture. Per, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You put Terry Crouppen and Don Brown and Ray Vincent and you put Brooke Dubman in there. Brooke Dubman, Ooh, good who, call. Maybe maybe mm-hmm. Johnny Londoff. You got to yeah. have somewhere to to hold this party and yeah. Johnny Londoff owns his building and lot. You got to put Johnny Londoff in there. If only we could get Schweigangle to get into the mix, I think we got ourselves a, a, a show, a reality show almost. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that's quite the cast, actually, wouldn't it be? It would absolutely. definitely be. All right, Ray, we've, we've put you through the rigor, and we, we appreciate your time. Cardinal and Blues broadcasts don't happen without the support of their prime advertisers, which you certainly are, and we're just tickled that you like to have some fun with us and that you've come on and, and joined us here tonight. So we appreciate it, and uh, best of luck this season, Ray. Well, thank you. Good luck to the Blues, and congratulations to the Blues, and congratulations to the Cardinals and all, all their players, and uh, good luck to Mike Matheny this year. I don't think he's going to need it. Ray, you got to give us a ride in your helicopter sometime. you got to promise us that. This guy has his own helicopter, guys. <laughs> I'll do that. All you got to do is be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> you got that right. It. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Whew. So, you know, I don't want to speak for you, Josh, myself, career highlight. <laughs> and what a career it's been. 